What is up guys, Lord Sando here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing another underrated game. Normally when I say a game is underrated, it's normally a little bit underrated, like it goes a bit under the radar, but if you've been playing Roblox for a long time or if you have connections, you normally know about these games. This game is nothing like that, and in my opinion it's the most underrated game that I've reviewed on my channel. This game has like negative publicity and I've never even heard of it being mentioned. The only reason I found it was because one of my subscribers sent it to me. This game has a whopping total of 1,300 visits, and it normally has single digit players. Yet despite this, it has one of the most impressive combat systems that I've seen on the platform, maybe rivaling Deep Woken. And I warn you guys because as soon as you hop in the game and you try this out for yourself, you're not gonna agree with me, you're gonna think this is like some shit game, and you're gonna be losing like every single match against good players, and that's what I did, I lost like 20 matches in a row. And the thing is, once you do learn the mechanics, it becomes so fun to actually see this play out. There are so many different playstyles in this game. You can actually get Force Hammer which one shots and it has massive range and long wind up but it has some obvious counters but you can also do some things with the kicking and the punching mechanics to make those counters less obvious. So let me explain in a bit more detail as to how the combat works. There are like 6 or 7 different inputs that you can do such as the light swing, parry, kick, punch and blocking. They pretty much all counter one other mechanic. For example, parrying is the obvious counter to M1s, and fainting is the counter to parrying. As well as this, punching is also the counter to parrying, and light swings are the counter to kicking and punching. Kicking is more of a situational tool, you can use it after the opponent uses an M1 and you get disarmed, just like I lost my weapon right there. Blocking is the counter to feints, because blocking requires no commitment other than your stamina, and right after they faint and go in for another M1, you can parry that. So right now I'm fighting against this guy with the Force Hammer. That weapon can kill you in one hit, but if you parry it, then they die in one hit. It also has a gigantic hitbox and a massive range, but the main weakness is that it's very slow and you can easily counter it. Most weapons in this game are viable and it's pretty well balanced, but there are some really dog shit weapons like the Gunbai. You get gold by fighting in these ranked matches and winning, and you also get levels as well. And with the gold, you can buy new weapons and armor. In terms of progression, there isn't really much to do once you've mastered the combat, but that being said, the game is still incredibly fun just to play to fight. I played about 1.5 hours versus the same 3 people, and we just did nothing except for 1v1s. Also when you spawn, you only have fists as weapons, but don't worry because fists are probably one of the best weapons in the game. This game is very harsh to beginners, and it's gonna take a while before you understand how to actually play properly. The best advice I have to new players is just to watch experts play, and you'll see exactly what you need to do in certain situations. I like this game a lot, but it's not perfect by any means, and I do have some suggestions. There could be more game modes than just a free-for-all and 1v1s. They could include stuff like deathmatch and team deathmatch, and do like a ranked lobby that way. Also, they could add weapon-related progression, such as getting a thousand kills with a certain weapon will give you a skin. Sort of like how ABA's gold skin works, to encourage you to play for a long time. This game has some great potential, and I'm looking forward to see what the developer can do. It definitely deserves some love, so I advise you guys to go and check it out, join the Discord server, and say hello to the community. I'll leave the link to the game in the pinned comment and in the description, and if you're quick enough, you might see me in-game. Alright, that's all I have for this video, but I do want to make a quick announcement. As a request from one of my subscribers, I'm going to be making a full beginner's overview for Deep Woken. This will be something that you can just send to a friend who knows nothing about the game, and it will basically tell them all the important info, and perhaps convince them to buy the game. If I skip an upload tomorrow, it just means that I'm working extra hard on that video, so just keep that in mind. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.